Welcome to the 8th episode of our series on mathematical language and symbols. In this presentation, we will be talking about a special kind of relation called a function. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. Here is the definition of a function. It says here that it is a relation but satisfies some condition. The first condition says that for every element x in A, there is an element y in B such that the ordered pair xy is an element of our function f. And for all element x in A and y and z in B, if the ordered pair xy is an element of f and the ordered pair xz is an element of f, then y is equal to z. If the two conditions here are met, then that relation is specifically considered a function. But simply this definition, this condition only mean that a function is just a special relation, special in a sense that each member of the domain is paired with a unique element in the co-domain. Remember that in a relation, an element in the domain may be paired or mapped to more than one element in the co-domain. However, if every element in our domain is paired to only one, that's what we mean by unique, only one element in the co-domain, then that relation is considered a function. Here are our notation for our functions. We can name it using letters still but this time we introduce another notation we call this the function notation this is read as f of x and f of x is just the same as y here is an example of a relation that is a function let us verify that by checking the two conditions that we discussed a while back the first condition all elements of the domain must have a pair and we see that all the five of them have a pair in our co-domain and that the second condition is also met. If we check, Alice is paired with only one number, Bob is paired with only one number, Chris is paired with only one number, also with Dave and Emma. We see that the mapping here comprises a function. We also note that the range is the set containing the four numbers only because of the five elements in our codomain, it's only the four of them that have a pair from the domain. This on the other hand is not a function because it violates the first condition. What is that? Not all elements in the domain have a pair. So is this even a relation? I don't think so. This is also not a function because although all of them have a pair, not all of them has a unique pair. We see that Alice have two pairs. It's 1.5 and 125. This is not a function. Other function terminology. So you have our two sets here. The first set is called the domain. The second set is called the codomain. The image of 4.3 is 4. And the pre-image of 4 is 4.3. Let's have some practice exercises. Let us identify whether the following mapping is a relation, a mere relation or a function. This is the first one. Let us investigate our domain and codomain in the mapping. First condition, all elements must have an element. Yes, it passes that condition. However, for our second condition, that all of them must have a unique element paired to them in the co-domain that is violated because this element here is paired to 2 and 5. Another one is this a function. All of them has an image so it passes the first condition. Does it also pass the second condition? We see to it that all of them have one pair in the co-domain in yes. Therefore, this is a function. Let us take a note that this is still a function even though one has two pre-images because the elements in our codomain is not really our concern. 
to tell whether a mapping is a relation or a function, we are actually focusing on in our domain. We are making sure that all of them has a pair and that if it has a pair, it should only be one. We do not care if an element in the code domain is mapped from more than one elements in the domain. In our previous video, we mentioned that a relation can be represented by graphs, especially if our function we are working on is defined between infinite sets. Since a function is just a special relation, we can as well use a graph to describe a relation. This is a graph of a function that is particularly known as quadratic functions. This is called a parabola. This is the graph of a linear function. This is the graph of a cubic function. Here are other functions with their corresponding graph. This is called the squared function. This is called the absolute value function. We have another concept called the vertical line test. This is used to identify whether a particular graph is that of a function. We are going to glide an imaginary vertical line throughout the graph and if there is a case where the line intersects the graph at more than one point, then the relation is not a function. Here are examples. If we imagine a vertical line glided throughout the graph, the vertical line will only meet the graph at one point. Same with this parabola here. So that these are considered functions. Here is another set of relations but this time are not considered functions because if you glide a vertical line in our graph, there is a point where that vertical line touches the graph at more than one point. In fact, the vertical line touches the graph at two points. It's the same case here. If you glide a vertical line at this point, the vertical line will touch the graph at three points. This is not a function. Using equations, we can identify, especially for equations involving quadratic terms, we can identify if it's a function or not by looking at which variable is being squared. If the variable squared is x, that quadratic equation is a parabola that either opens upward or downwards. Therefore, it is a function. For a quadratic equation, of the form y squared equal to ax plus bx plus c, this means that the variable being squared is y. In the first case, the variable being squared is x. We mentioned that that is a function. However, in this case, the variable being squared is y. This is a parabola opening to the left or to the right. Therefore, this is not a function. Let us proceed to the different types of functions. There are three. The first type is called one-to-one -one functions. This is the definition of a one-to-one -one function, but really we can translate this into this condition. A function is called one-to-one -one if all elements in the range has one pre-image. So that to check if a mapping or a set of points is considered a one-to-one -one function, we are concentrating on the elements of our range. That is, what is that condition? Every element in our range should have one pre-image. If one element has more than one pre-image, then that function is not one-to-one. -one. Example, is this a one-to-one -one function? We check that all the elements in our range, what is our range? The set containing one, two, four, five, because these are the elements of our codomain that has a pre-image. And we see that all of the elements in our codomain has one pre-image. One for this element, we have O for this element, we have E for this element, and I for this element. All of them have one pre-image. How about this one? Is this a one-to-one -one function? The answer is no. Because two here have two pre-images, E and O. Another type of functions, they are called onto functions, otherwise termed as surjective functions. A function is onto if 
here is a condition. This is the mathematical definition of this one. But if we translate it into Lehmann's term, it simply means all elements of the range is also the element of the codomain. Or we say that that is an onto function if all elements in the codomain has a free image. This is also translated to a function is onto if all the elements of codomain has a free image. Example, is this an onto function? Anyway, we first see that this is really a function. All of them has a pair and all of them in the domain has a unique pair and that is satisfied. So this is really a function. But is this onto? Let us see to it that all elements in the codomain has a pair. And the answer is yes. So this is an onto function. In this case, this is not an onto function because we see that some elements in the codomain has no pair. So that the range is the set containing 1, 2, 5, but your codomain is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The third type of a function is called a bijective function. And by definition, it is just a function that is both 1 to 1 and onto. If it's 1 to 1 at the same time onto, then that function is bijective. Let's provide some exercises on the types of functions. We have four mappings here. Our job is to identify its type, whether it's only one to one, onto, or both. That is bijective. Number one, this is an onto function because all of the elements in our codomain has a pre image. Why is this not one to one? We can identify an element in the codomain that is paired from two elements in the codomain. So it's just onto but not one to one. How about the second one? This is a function but it's neither one to one nor onto. It is not one to one because of these elements. For example, this element has two pre images. Also, this element has two pre images. So it's not a one to one function. It's not also onto because we can identify an element in our codomain that has no pair at all. The third one, this is a bijection because it's both one to one and onto. Let's check that. All of them has a pre image, so that is onto. And then it's one to one because all of those uh, elements in our code domain is only paired from a single element from the domain. This is just one to one because all of the elements in our range has a unique pre image. However, this is not onto because this is an element from our codomain that has no pair. More of exercises. This is one to one, but not onto because we can see that some element in our codomain has no pre image, but this is one to one. This is onto, but not one to one. This is onto because all of the elements in our codomain has a pair, but not one to one because of this element. Two has two pre images. This is a bijection, so it's both one to one in onto because we see that all of them has a unique pre image in that all of the elements of the codomain has a pair. This is a function but neither one to one nor onto. It's not one to one because of this element and it's not onto because of this element 4. This is not even a valid function, so we need to be very careful because it might not be a function. Why is this not a function? It's because of this element, A. A has two images. It's 2 and 4. That ends our 8th episode. In the next episode, we will still be talking about function, but it will be more of how we evaluate them. I will see you there.